Hey there YouTube, it's me and I'm back after a month and a bit. Reason for this is because I've been a bit busy lately. So for instance, I kind of went on holiday for a couple of weeks to Costa Dorada in Spain, which if you ever get a chance to go to, we went to the H10 Solaris Palace and it was immense. It was one of the best holidays we've had in ages. And my first two week holiday since I was, I think, about 16. I'm 31. And that should be all you need to know. Um, right. So, oh, and the other thing, the other reason being is I'm actually buying a flat. Hurrah. So that's been taking up a lot of my time lately. Um, fortunately, on Saturday, I ended up having to pay the uh, deposit. And... Uh, all I can say is bye bye savings since I was 10. Uh, it's about, well, let me put it this way. I had the best part of, at one point, near enough my age. And then I got married, and that kind of went down a bit further because we paid for the wedding each. And then I um, put the deposit. So, uh, <laughs> let me put it this way if you've bought a flat or a house or a bungalow or a car or a box behind Asda, you know how expensive these deposits are and all the stamp duty and stuff. I mean, at the moment, my stamp duty is two grand. Then you've got product fees, the deposit, um, something else I can't see. Anyway, but that's beside the point. Now, today, I'm going to be doing five reviews because I haven't done them for a while. So, starting off with, I'm not looking at anything. I'm not looking at my nuts, by the way. I'm actually showing you this. And if you recognize it, it is, in fact... The Ben 10 series. Now, I bought this about a year ago because I caught an episode once on telly and I was kind of like, yeah, this looks interesting. And in case you haven't noticed, it's the story of, hang on, let's get the picture back, uh, him. His name is Ben Tennyson. He's 10 years old. And there's kind of a little theme on this one. And he is... Um, a regular sort of 10 year old American kid, don't know what part of America, and he goes on vacation on summer vacation with his uncle Max, who is if I can find the picture of him, I will. Uh, I can't find the picture of him, so I won't. Um, he goes on holiday with him and his cousin Gwen, who is uh, I have seen her. This girl, that's hang on, that's his cousin Gwen there. And uh, after him and Gwen have a bit of an argument, he kind of storms off and he sees a meteorite and, well, a shooting star, and he follows it after it crashes and he thinks, oh, you know, it's just a standard meteorite, blah, blah, blah. Um, I can tell I'm really hot. Um, also, he uh, finds this thing and it's like a giant space pod and inside there is the Omnitrix, which is, if you can't really tell properly, I will... Like this thing here, it's called the Omnitrix. Its official title is the Omni Matrix. Now, if your Greek is up to date, Omni means many or higher, and Matrix means, well, Matrix. So it's basically the many databases, if you want me to be a technical term for the computer type. So uh, it gets stuck onto his arm, and it kind of goes from there, and it turns out he can turn into one of 10 different aliens. So. I'm going to rail these off really quickly. So, you have got, uh, hang on, Cannonbolt, Stinkfly, Grey Matter, Diamond Head, Upgrade. I haven't watched this for a while, so give me a break. Um, hang on, Rip Jaws, Forearms, uh, hang on, where are we? Let's do it this way. Up Chuck, Ben Wolf. Um, Rip Jaws, and there is another one on there, which isn't actually on there, I've just noticed, and it's my favourite one, which is Accelerate, which is kind of like um, a Velociraptor, but one that can go like, well, like shit off a shiny shovel, I think is probably the best of them. I will endeavour to find the pit, here it is, that's Accelerate. He's one, he's one of my favourite ones, because he can run really cool, and I remember a time when I was young, and I could run really quickly. Um, the story then revolves around an alien called Vilgax, who is this guy here, well, guy, squid thing, who wants the Omnitrix to basically take over the universe, ah, uh, evil man, and how Ben 
kind of defeats him. And then it's about how he fights off from the theme tune, uh, was it fighting off evil from Earth or space? And it's about one point he goes into the future and he meets his older self, Ben 10,000, which I really like that episode because it's kind of like that older version of Ben is kind of real, kind of forgotten or forgotten who he was and um, how younger Ben tries to help him see what he's, you know, missing and that sort of stuff and what it's like to actually be the hero rather than just being someone who just goes around, and, you know, doesn't care about anything else. Then... And I found this on YouTube, and I kind of got told off when I was at work watching it. Um, they did this, which is Ben 10's Secret of the Omnitrix. Ben being an idiot, he sets the Omnitrix to self-destruct, and if it does blow up, it will take out the entire galaxy. Mm, that old chestnut. Um, like I said many, many times before, I won't tell you more than that, because otherwise, well, for basically three reasons. A, you've probably seen it. B, you probably got a young kid who, you know, you've seen it yourself. B, you probably got a child of your own who's got, who's watched it. Or C, you haven't seen it and you've probably been living in a black hole somewhere. Now, they have done much merchandise for this. I, myself, have actually got an Omnitrix. I'm still trying to work on turning into an alien. You know, it's, there's only so much you can do when you're working for, an air, for a duty-free airline. Yeah, you don't get much of your time. Um, then they did, I'm going to get this wrong, but you had Ben 10, the original series, uh, Ben 10 Omniverse is the new one with the, um, oh, what's it called? Uh, Ben 10 Ultimate Alien. And then the third, the second one, I actually cannot remember the title of, and that's really going to hack me off. I will put the the details for it on um, the description below for all the series, so it'll usually give you a breakdown of what one's what, etc. I like it. I think it's a very good idea to have, because it kind of brings back a bit of an imagination for kids these days, because personally I think some of the cartoons that are out at the moment are a bit crap. Um, for instance... Um, they did Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles when, okay, that being the only exception, you know, because they've actually made them into ninjas rather than just heroes. Because of, because of um, uh, back in the day, you weren't allowed to call ninjas ninja. That's why it was Teenage Mutant Hero Turtles for old people like me who actually know that. Um, and also, you can thank Simon Cowell for actually coming up with, with something similar, which was Power Rangers. I remember the original Power Rangers being awesome. The new ones, however, suck. Big fat donkey dick. Um, also, if you know, I should point out, if you are under the age of 10 and you've just heard me say that, I do apologise. Please don't write any comments about that because, well, to be fair, you took your choice when you watched this. So, yeah. Um, also, I know for a fact that they're going to be bringing out another Ben 10 series. I don't know the name of it yet. It's going to be set after Omniverse. But there are four Omnitrixes that have been made. The, the, ulti, the prototypes, the three prototypes, uh, the Ultimatrix, and then... No, I'll tell you, actually, um, there's the Matrix, the Omnitrix prototype. Then it recalibrated itself to the sort of green watch. Then you have the Ultimatrix, which is the kind of gauntlet one. Then you've got the... Um, final version which is the actual proper Omnitrix which is in the Omniverse now. Now I do have those toys not on me at the moment they're at my mum mum and dad's house collecting you know, dust in my drawer but I do have them. I don't have the Legacy Omnitrix the one that you can kind of mix and match. I did want it but I never got around to buying it because I couldn't find anywhere cheap enough to buy it because obviously buying a flat isn't cheap. So my Main review of Ben 10. Uh, if I had to give the score out of the for the uh, original series, and I can show you the box properly, it comes with the <coughs> it comes with the little circuitry. So when you close it, it's almost like being Ben 10 himself. I would have to give it a nine out of ten. That's how much I like it. I would give it an, a ten out of ten, but it would have to completely blow my socks off, and um, that's a bit impossible because I'm not wearing socks at the moment. So. I'm going to leave it there. The next one I'm going to do in a minute is going to be Battle Angel Eater. So, back in a bit. Bye. <laughs>